Hello everyone, welcome back to Angina's Creation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to measure, how to create your own templates, and how easy it is. It doesn't matter the software you're using, doesn't matter the paper you're going to use. You can do this all by yourself. You don't have to wait for someone to respond to you. What are the measurements for this item? How can I create these items? Today, I'm going to try to respond or reply to as many questions as I was getting on my messenger or on Facebook and Instagram on how do you create your own templates, okay? So let's get started. Okay, for your supplies, you're going to need anything that you want to customize. This pertains to anything that you literally want to customize. It could be a shampoo bottle, it could be baby wipes, it could be baby powder. It does not matter what exactly you want to customize. You need to go out there and purchase your item first. After that, you're going to need a measuring tape. I prefer those sewing ones. You can get this really inexpensive, not more than probably $5, $2, because these bend, okay? You're going to need a pen or pencil and a paper to write down your measurements, your scissors to cut out your template, and you're going to be needing copy paper, any copy paper. Literally, Walmart sells a huge pack like for 2 to $3. You're going to, of course, need your software that you're going to be using and a printer. Now, talking about printers, again, this is totally up to you. What preference do you like? Do you like inkjet or do you like laser? I personally have only used inkjet printers, but there's people that have only used laser. Now, it's up to you to see the difference of which one you like. I mean, you can go to a print, local printing shop, and I think they use laser, and see if you like that quality. Find someone that has an inkjet printer and see which quality do you like. Now, um, softwares. What is the best software to use? I personally only use Silhouette Studio, but it, it, as of y'all yeah, know, I also do videos using Microsoft Word. When I first started this business, I used to use Microsoft Word, but there's a lot of stuff that you can't do there. Also, that is a monthly payment, which I know a lot of people do um, that go to school or kids, stuff like that. They don't have to pay as much. I personally don't use Microsoft Word anymore. I only use Silhouette Studio. I have plenty of videos in this uh, channel using Silhouette Studio. It is a one-time payment. I'm not only saying this because, oh, Angina, you use it. No. I know people that use Photoshop. People use Inkscape, Inkscape uh, Publisher, Microsoft Word. It doesn't matter the software that you are using. I personally use Silhouette Studio because the designing possibilities in there are endless. Also, you don't have to pay monthly. It is a one-time payment. I do use Business Edition because I have... Um, all the icons that I can use and I only paid uh, I think it was around $48 when it was on sale uh, normally it's a hundred dollars but usually check down the description box below usually um, you could catch a sale and it's a one-time payment another thing about papers papers is another preference how you want your party favors to look do you want them to have a glossy look do you want them to have a matte look now I see a lot of people asking what is the best paper to use Listen, you have to spend money to make money. That is my number one motto. You're going to go out there and buy different kind of papers. Well, they're going to say, well, Andrina, I don't want to go out there and spend all that money. Can you just tell me what paper to use? I might be using a kind of paper that you might not like, or my paper might be too expensive for you, or it might be the uh, a wrong paper for your kind of printer. Make sure... Any paper that you are using, it is compatible with your printer. It will say if it's for inkjet or laser. Now, there is some papers out there that are for both printers, inkjet and laser, okay? Now, sometimes I like my glossy look or I'll get glossy sticker paper. It's all up to you. When And also, when would you know if I have to use glossy paper or regular paper? It's, it's totally up to you. Glossy paper, basically, even for these items that I have right here, glossy, I mean, uh, sticker paper will be perfect for that because all I have to do is peel it and stick it right on there. Also, when... When you are doing party favors, you need to know that certain items like these, people are going to eat out of. So use gloves, um, especially if you're doing plates, use gloves. If you're doing napkins, use gloves. Now, you, there's no way you can put a label on top of here because people are going to eat on top of this plate, even if they're using it for a cake, if they're um, eating chips out of this or anything. You can't put... Uh, sticker paper or paper on top of this that is very unsanitary so you're gonna have to put it under that's why i have a separate tutorial on how i do my party plates i use a 
special sticker paper called Zyron Machine, which the more you make this stuff, the more you're going to invest and see how everything, how it works for you. I also seen paper, uh, people put Mod Podge under here and then they put their label, but the label will be under the plate so everyone could eat or on from this plate, okay? Um, let me see, because I did write stuff down so I can make sure I don't miss anything. Also, measurements. I have a lot of questions all the time. Well, what measurements would I use in Cricut? Or what measurements would I uh, use in Silhouette? Or what measurements would I use in Microsoft Word? You have to use the same measurements because that is the measurement of your item. For instance, if I tell you this plate is 4.4 4, uh, 4 by 4.4 4 circle, and you're going to ask me, well, what measurements am I going to use in, uh, let's say, Microsoft Word? You can't go over there and put three by three because that is going to be so small for the for this plate. So measurements always stay the same because you measure your item and that is the measurement for the item that you are going to be using. So another thing, if someone tells you this plate is 4.35 and someone else tells you it's 4.4, who is right and who is wrong? No one is right and no one is wrong. That person might like their circle to be 4.3. The other person might like their circle to be 4.4. There is no right from wrong. This You're the designer. And I get so many questions of this. Well, I seen a post saying that this um, label was supposed to be 7.5, but someone else told me it was supposed to be 7.48. There is no right from wrong. Whatever you came up with, if you like how it looks, then go for it. You're the designer. You are your own boss, ladies don't or gentlemen. It doesn't matter how you create this. As long as you like the look, then go for it, okay? Um, I already referred about the paper. Adhesives. That's another thing about adhesive. What is the right adhesive to use? You can use, I've seen people use their um, glue gun. I see people use double-sided tape. I see people use Elmer's glue and all that stuff. If it works for you, it works for you. I personally like the 3M brand from Amazon, which you could check down in the description box. Let me get the tape really quick. This is the brand of double-sided tape that I like to use. It looks like this. You could find it on eBay or Amazon, but also check down the description box. Like I said, I have seen people also use glue guns. Um, I know Dollar Tree now sells this tape. I've seen plenty of people in my group like this and swear about this. I personally have never used it yet, but I know a lot of people like it. So I also seen other people use the advanced tape glider, scotch tape glider. You can find this on Amazon or any other craft store. Again, this is all a preference. I have used this as well. You're going to see what you like the more you make this stuff. Now I took out the paper so I can show you really quick. I love Office Depot brand. Is this the right paper to use? It doesn't matter. You're going to see what you like best to use, okay? If you have staples, check out their staples paper. I mean, you can even ask in the back of the printing shop, can you get some paper that you would like to try it out, okay? Sticker paper. There's plenty and plenty and plenty of brands of sticker paper on Amazon or any other website. You're going to see which one you like best. Everybody loves online labels, sticker paper. You can find that even on Amazon as well. Also, in my group, I see a lot of people using the Koala brand um, glossy paper. So check that one out too. Again, this is all up to you. I think I covered everything. Um, oh no. How much do you charge for these party favors? Now, that is a number one question, again, that I see in plenty and plenty of groups. I just started, I don't know how much to charge, or I got an order for 50 chip bags, and I don't know how much to charge, or I got this huge order, I don't know how much to charge. Listen, no one can tell you how to run your business, and no one can tell you how much to charge, because we all live in different areas. I could buy these bubbles, I got them from Dollar Tree, so you know they're three for a dollar. But let's say you live in a different um, country, stuff like that, and you find these bubbles for $3 a pack, right? If I tell you I'm charging, let's say, $2 per bubble, but then you bought each bubble for $3, how am I to tell you that you need to charge that when you're going to be selling your stuff for free? So what I highly recommend is you're going to sit down and you're going to literally add up everything that you spend on that item. Andrina, well, how do I know about the paper? Well, you know, if you pay $20 for a pack of, uh, let me see how much paper, 100 sheets, you're going to divide that $20 into 100 sheets. You're going to see how much you paid into that um, uh, paper pack. And let's say roughly you pay like 10 cents per paper, right? 
Now, 10 cents per paper, your bubbles, your sticker paper. Remember, you use ink. You drove over there to get that stuff. Um, anything you use, and then you're going to add up all that up. Let's say roughly around there, you spend, let's say, $4 on that item. Then there's no way you could charge a dollar to $2 on that item. You need to make a profit. You can't just be doing everything for free. You need to make sure you make a profit. So let's say you'll charge $6, $7, $8. Again, this is totally up to you. You could sell by the dozen. Well, you could sell these $48 for 12 or 50 for 12. You're going to see so many people sell um, different prices. Some people might sell $24 uh, a dozen, $10 a dozen. Now, this is all up to you. No one can tell you how much you charge because you need to sit down as a business owner and you need to figure out how much you want to charge. My prices might be high for somebody or my prices might be low for somebody. It's all up to you guys. All right. I think I have covered everything. And if I didn't, feel free to comment down below any more questions or if you would like more videos like this. I did a poll the other day on YouTube and everyone's asking me, you know, talk more about the business side and stuff like this. So feel free to comment down below. Let's get started. I have... My, like I said, my measuring tape. I use inches. Some people use centimeters. Again, it's all up to you on how you feel comfortable. I want to put a label under this plate, right? So the first thing I have to do is where do I want my label to go? Let's say I want my label to go right here and then I would want my circle here. So you're going to measure. Right here says that is a 4.5 mark. But if I go, if I hold my circle right here, if I hold my tip and I keep going around and around and around, I'll see that when I'm turning and if I go all the way 4.5, when I print this out, my label is going to be all around here. So I'm going to say I'm going to do a circle around 4.4 by 4.4 to stay on the safe side. This is where your pen and paper come in. Let's say try to do 4.4 by 4.4 circle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to print this out only in black and white because you need to save ink. This is where it comes that you're going to be allowed to do a trial and error. This is why I say go get a big pack from copy paper from Walmart or anything because this is going to be the trial and error run. Because if the 4.4 don't fit, I'm going to print another one, maybe 4.3 or 4.2 or 4.45. This is where it comes in, okay? Now, your bubbles. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to get your measuring tape and you need to also what shapes do you know what to use well you know the plate was a circle so you're going to go into your software and you're going to use the circle shape to and put the measurements in there these bubbles if you could tell is a rectangle so you're going to measure your height first roughly here i will do maybe around 1.5 be it is kind of bigger, but because I want to make sure that I cover this entire label, I will go 1.5 in my height. You're going to write that down. And then you're going to start from the beginning of the label, and you're going to go all around. And I want it to overlap just a tiny bit, so I'm going to put 5.5. You're going to write that down as well. So your bubbles... 1.5 in height and I said 5.5 in width right and that's done there if that don't work then you don't have to come back so you're going to do the same thing over and over on each item that you want to customize okay and you're going to print this out in black and white because you want to save ink okay you're gonna print your stuff out black and white i just wrote the name there just so you can see basically which one was for what but see it's just a black outline because i want to save on ink now what you're going to do is you're going to cut this out now another tip i could give you is buy you a small binder or buy you a folder from dollar tree and then when you figure out your measurements go ahead and write down your measurements and put this inside of a binder or a folder and make do different tabs that have says templates something like this this is what i personally have looks like a mess right here it just you know a binder and my first tab says templates and then you have different tabs and then you put everything there okay that's how you're going to do it so you're going to print out your 
template. That is your template. Again, if it doesn't work, you're going to go back in your computer and you're going to keep tweaking it. That's why I always say in my group, like keep tweaking it. If it didn't work, just take out a little bit or add a little bit depending on how it is. Okay. All you're going to have to do here is cut them out. See if it fits. Okay. Once it does fit, you're ready to print out the actual design. You are you like how everything looks, then you're good to go. Now what you need to do is, you're going to go in your software, use the same template that you just did, and you're gonna go ahead and just put in your images, put in your words or your backgrounds and stuff like that, and you're ready to go. I have plenty of videos on how to customize and giving you measurements and how to add images and stuff like that, but this video is specifically talking about how to measure your stuff okay so see let's say this is the plate one so i'm gonna cut this one out Okay, and then once you're done, you're done. Oh, I forgot to put the lid on, but listen, and I even use copy paper. I never use copy paper, but this is just for tutorial purposes. I wasn't gonna use my good glossy paper, but that is all, guys. You just wrap your stuff up. I don't know if y'all could tell in the video, the Pepsi one didn't fit as much in the back, but I will have to make the template just a little bit bigger, and, and that's it. Like, you don't like how it looks. Some people might like that look. You know, I wouldn't. I would like mine to overlap. I would just have to make my template just a little bit bigger to overlap, and that will be all again i hope y'all all go ahead and try these out this is even lifting up because like i said this is copy paper and i just try to put a dab of glue there so it could stay down try this out guys if you're not in my crafting group it is angina's creations crafting lounge follow me on facebook and instagram it is angina's creations if you would like to purchase anything from me any digital files that you feel like you can't just create it yourself i'm more than welcome to create it for you and you can just purchase it from me you will message me at Angina's Creation on Facebook or Instagram, or if you don't have social media, feel free to email me at Angina's Creations at yahoo.com. I hope I answered some of your questions in this video. If you like this video, please comment down below and please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe guys because I will be uploading a lot and lots more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell and click on all so every time I upload, you will get notified when I upload all my videos, okay? So I'll talk to you guys later and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Bye-bye.